Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll be looking into the Jude build for High Priest. In my previous Priest build video, we utilized the Turn Undead build for solo farming. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll have it linked down below. This time, as a High Priest, let's dive into another skill we can use for solo farming, the Jude or Judex. In the old Ragna days, the skill Jude is known as Judex, so other players may be used to calling it Judex. This skill deals holy magic damage to an enemy. It has a splash effect to nearby units dealing half the original damage. Unlike a turn undead skill, Judex is not limited to undead monsters, which makes it a versatile skill for priest farming. In this video, we'll tackle the build, skills, equipment needed, battle preparation, and farming spots. Without further ado, let's begin! Let's start with the build. For the Judex build, we primarily need Int and Luck. Intelligence will increase magic attack, magic defense, and maximum SP. Since the Judex damage will be based on our resulting magic attack, having high Int will translate to increased damage. Luck, on the other hand, technically increases critical hits and perfect dodge rates. But for the Judex build, having luck will increase the magic damage of Judex because the weapon we will use will convert luck into extra damage. We'll touch on this again as we discuss equipments. Next, let's take a look at the skills. For my Acolyte skills, I have a level 10 Heal, Kyrie, Blessing, and Increase Agility. I did not spend any points anymore on Holy Light as we already have Judex which deals way more damage than Holy Light. For my Priest skills, I have Resurrection at level 3 only since at level 4, there is an increased SP cost and cast time. The difference in HP recovered isn't that much anyway. I have Aspersia, Clearance, Magnificat, and Gloria maxed out. In my opinion, these are important buffs in supporting your team. For the rest of the skills, it's all up to you how you would like to distribute your points. Some people may like to max out Sanctuary or some may like to get Magnus Exorcismus for boss hunting. In my case, for now, I max out Increased Spiritual Recovery for the SP region. As you would see, I run out of points for Turn Undead. Maybe once I max out the Meditation High Priest skill for SP Recovery, I might move some points around in the next reset. Again, at this point, there's no right or wrong thing. It's all about your personal preference of what you want to prioritize. Next, for my high priest skills, let's start off with the star of the show, the Jude or Judex. I only have Judex at level 1 since at increased levels, the cast time will increase. Judex level 1 will be enough to deal a lot of damage with the shortest cast time, meaning it will actually yield a higher DPS or damage per second. Next, I have Angelus at level 5 to unlock Assumption. I then max out Assumption as it gives 50% death and magic death to party mates. For Suffragium, I only have it at level 3 since at higher levels, the duration will decrease. At level 3, the duration is 30 seconds, while at level 4, the duration will now just be 20 seconds. In that case, you need to recast more often. For efficiency, level 3 would be recommended. Lastly, I plan to max out Meditation for SP Regen and Safety Wall for Shielding. The way I set up my skills is still as a full support. The beauty of this build is that you can solo farm with Judex but still fully support your team. I love this build because you don't have to depend on others to level up, but at the same time, you can party up and contribute significantly to the team as a full support. Next, let's tackle the equipment. I currently do not have the best or most ideal equipment yet, but I'll tackle a few of the important ones for Judex. Earlier, I mentioned the reason we have luck as an attribute is because our weapon will translate luck into additional damage. That weapon is the Nemesis Staff, which is essential if we're going for the full support Judex build. Aside from its special effect of converting luck into Judex damage, Nemesis Staff also has plus 174 magic attack, plus 15% magic attack, and plus 5 luck. To demonstrate, in this clip, we are using the Cross Staff which gives 10,000 damage to the Dogebi. We'd need 4 hits in order to finish it. 
However, if we switch out to the nemesis under the same buffs, our damage has doubled to 20,000, which allows us to kill the Dukai B in just two hits. Next for the accessories, I currently have the Orleans necklace which gives additional magic attack. However, ideally, I'm working towards getting better accessories such as the Orleans gloves which will give plus 60 magic attack, plus 2 dex, and plus 10% magic attack. Next, I have the magic coat for additional int and magic attack. For the offhand, I have the magic bible because it allows us to ignore 15% of the magic defense of targets which means our Judex will be able to penetrate and deal more damage. And lastly, I have the Staunch Cape and the Staunch Shoes because they have a set effect which gives less 10% cast time. For my auto battle skill slots, I have Judex, Gloria, Blessing, and Kyrie. Kyrie is of course optional. If you have the fourth skill slot open, it's up to you what you want to set. But essentially, we would need Gloria to increase luck. As a comparison, the damage of my Judex without Gloria is 17,000. But with Gloria, it's now at 20,000. That's a 15% difference. Once you have your Judex, you can now try farming the level 69 Dukebi located at the second and third floors of the Payan Cave. The Dukebi is of Shadow Element, which is weak against the Holy Element. Again, the Judex deals Holy Magic damage, thus targeting Shadow Element monsters would be ideal. If you want to grind hard skin, it's possible to one-hit the level 54 Matir. In the Ant Hell, there's a spot where the Matirs are close together so you can fully utilize the splash damage of your Judex. Currently at level 78, I'm farming the level 85 Injustice found in the Glassheim Culvert. I like this spot since the monsters are not aggressive, thus you can easily leave your character AFK. Other examples of shadow monsters are the level 80 Deveruchi, the level 80 Succubus, and the level 81 Incubus. However, I won't recommend farming these with Judex as the magic defense of these monsters are higher. For example, Injustice only has 5 magic defense, while the Incubus has 100. Since our Judex is based on magic damage, these monsters would be harder to kill. Alright, we have now tackled the build, skills, equipment, battle preparation, and farming spots. I hope you found this guide helpful if you're considering the full support Judex build. I think the Judex build will be a good option for full support so would also like to be strong and independent. Plus, we can now have a lot of fun in PvP. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.